I'd like to welcome Ed Lazier, former chair of the President's Council of Economic Advisors under George W. Bush. Ed, uh, everybody that I talked to, and uh, we were on the air at 8.30 Eastern, didn't really find much of value in this number. Uh, but I think that you can scratch down on the surface and give us some information that might be more optimistic. All right. So the, the one optimistic thing, and this will this will sound a little counterintuitive, is that the minus seven hundred thousand number is actually good news. Now, why do I? How could it possibly be good news? The answer is we already know that during the first week when we got the new unemployment initial unemployment claims, we were already at three point three million. Uh, most of us thought that that didn't reflect layoffs that had already occurred and were baked into those earlier numbers. The fact that we're already seeing the 700,000 uh, loss in the early March numbers, approximately March 12th, tells us that those early claims numbers already have that in there. So uh, what that means is that the, cl the initial claims are a little bit ahead of where we thought they were. And so they may start to level off a little bit more rapidly than we than we expected. So, uh, you know, if you're looking for good news, it's hard to find good news these days. But that that would be a little piece of it. Um, the other thing I would say, Rick, just well, on, no, kind of on the go ahead. I'm sorry, please. No, 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 no. Continue. The, the other thing I was going to talk about was the labor force participation rate. Um, the one thing that we want to watch carefully is that that doesn't fall. And there are really a couple of reasons for it. The first reason is that uh, you want people to be attached to the labor force, which means they answer that they are actively seeking work. Why? Well, because that's what they need to say in order to get unemployment insurance. And at this point, we want to make sure that people are covered during this period of time. But the second thing is when we finally do turn the switch back on, and we hope we will, uh, we would like to be able to have those people come back. So we don't want them dropping out of the labor force. So uh, I think we need to watch that number carefully. You know, and you just hit on what to me is the absolute key, that on the back side of this, turning the switch on, how is that process going to go? I was shocked to read that you think it's going to be six quarters before we get to where we were before this hit. And I understand what that means, everything the same. But much yeah. sooner than that, we're going to probably be trying to ramp up to get there. And sometimes the ramping up process yes. is every bit as juicy and has as much meat on the bone as the actual uh, arrival destination when you get to the end of the sixth quarter. That, that's right. So uh, once we start uh, ramping back up, and of course, you know, much of this depends on the progress of the disease. And in particular, even more than the progress of the disease, it's more the progress of testing and treatment because people aren't going to be willing to go back in no matter what the government says until they feel comfortable that uh, the workplace is safe. So, you know, to the extent that we can test and treat, obviously that's going to be an important component. But let's say we have that uh, under control uh, within a quarter or so, then um, what I would expect is to see a flat quarter uh, in, in two quarters out and then start to recover. As you say, the, the meat is on those, uh, it, it, it's as juicy in the recovery period um, as it is at the peak. In fact, more so because when you're recovering, that's when things are actually heating up. So I would expect that to happen uh, probably starting three quarters out. And I would guess it would take us another three quarters or so to get back to where we are now. Uh, but that's not a terrible thing. Uh, well, obviously, it's, you know, we don't like where we are to start with. But the uh, ramping back up again is not a terrible thing, because that is a period during which you see employment growing. It's a period during which you would see some wages growing. And uh, those are the most important factors.